Hello, everybody, and welcome to a new series here on the channel. Right, I'm going to continue to try to expand in this series a little bit while also continuing to update the games that we have already been playing. Today's game is Draft Day Sports for Wolverine Studios College of Basketball 2023 or College of Basketball 23 with the real world NCAA mod uploaded. So you're playing with the real college basketball teams. We are going to go into the challenge mode. You will be very responsible for meeting the goals of the board. Failing to do so could result in you being fired and having to apply with other schools. Select this mode if you want to play the most realistic experience possible. So what we're going to do is we're just going to call this the 2023 save. All right, we have the NCAA men's basketball. I can't spell or type. We are starting with the 2022 season. Like I said, we are using the custom pile. Uh, we are allowing conference movement, modern day transfer market, or transfer portal. Injury factory percentage is at 100%. Job pressure is normal. Recruiting difficulty is normal. Declared early for the draft is normal. They can declare after one season. So using the mod allows you to use logos more commonly seen in the NCAA. You have to manually kind of change the titles. Sorry. I believe... One second. Um, we're going to pause because I... The fourth tournament, I gotta look up the name for this one. So we are back, we're gonna go call this the TBC, the Basketball Classic. So that will be the fourth. <laughs> Sorry for that. Uh, college tournament. So you do get to choose your coach's name and description and everything. There's some definite similarities in some ways between this and, um, like, football manager uh, in, in a way that you get to kind of create an avatar. You get to create this skill set. You can start him, you know, out at a job that you want. You kind of get to, although you get to pick your job, which you can't do in football manager. You can choose which club you start at. And then, you know, there's recruiting, there's transfers, there's the facilities which you have to maintain. There's um, trying to find somebody who I think looks vaguely like myself. Um, I am not as fit as any of these fictional avatars, so that, that'll be a little bit uh, interesting. Okay, we'll go with that. Um, clothing style, sure. And then, I don't know, for a name, what would be a good coaching name? What's a good coaching name? We'll go with Michael Lassiter. Sure. I am 38, so I will make him 38. I think Michael Lassiter. He kind of looks like a Michael Lassiter to me. We're going to have very high ambition. Our academics are going to be high. Discipline is going to be high. Integrity level is going to be high. Our temper, we will say we have average temper. And the dream job for somebody like that with a very high, with academic importance, High integrity. Um, all right, I am from Iowa. I'm from the Midwest. Uh -huh. I don't want to necessarily have a giant of the game, but at the same time, don't want to have a tiny school either. So, okay, you know what? The dream job. Well, no, that's that'd be cliche, right? That you say Duke would be the dream job. Um. Ah, uh, yeah, we'll actually say the Minnesota Golden Gophers are the dream job. Kind of a random one, sure, but again, Midwest. So you can say your philosophy, so the higher you rate this, the more you prefer a veteran team. Player rotation, we do want to rotate a lot. Offensive pace, I don't want to be like too fast paced, but, right, we are going to try to crash the board, board rebounding is huge. Defensive intent city will pick up. Yeah, defensively we have we have to be able to rebound. Oh. Um and I'll kinda increase the zone defense a little bit. 
So those are my philosophies. Uh, skill settings. Uh, you you can adjust these yourselves, or you can kind of choose a. Um, again, we're going to say the maximum we can go to is 85. And if we start off as a rookie coach, which is where we're going to start at, so we start out at 30 with all of our offensive concepts. Uh, I'll say actually. And I just go in here. That would be easier if I could click on here, but it doesn't seem to be possible there. Um, yeah, scouting, I'm going to say I'm not as great at. But my strength is going to be player development to start. All right, so not good at scouting. I'm going to have to rely on my assistants for that, but I'm going to be really, I'm going to be a good player developer or a reasonable player developer, right? So now you get to pick a job, right? So I have, I have a rookie head coach, so I'm obviously not going to be at massive job right away. I do want high academics, so you get you have your prestige, you have your facilities, and you have your academics. Those are the three things that you kind of look at here at the job board. Um, let's see here. I will say my first job here as Mr. Lassiter. I mean, Lafayette, the Citadel, okay. I don't want to have an academic below a C, right? C minus is the absolute lowest I, I want to go on academics, even starting out. Um, and higher than that would be awesome. Western Illinois, I did it all. I'm doing an offline save as them. Um, I don't think I would have start off as, as them on the online save as well. Um, goodness. Hartford as an independent would be interesting, but Stetson and the Atlantic Sun as B minus academics. Sorry, I'm just C minus and C minus for Eastern Illinois. Central Arkansas, C and C in the Atlantic Sun. C plus to C minus at Arkansas Pine Bluff. All right, so just so I could go ahead and select somebody. Idaho State, the Big Sky. It's interesting. Um, in the offside line, say I had a couple of Bouted West schools that had that were open to me, but um, obviously neither of those are are options now. I think I will stay in the Midwest a little bit because I do well. I do like the idea of staying, you know, kind of where my roots are as a character, or in real life, I guess, as a character, my person has no roots. Um, so, oh, wait, there we go, San Jose State. Yeah, eighty thousand per three years to be the head coach at San Jose State at the Mountain West. Again, I, I just I feel like that's too big of a job for a rookie head coach. Um, the Eastern Illinois Panthers. You know what? I I'm, I'm going to change my mind. I am going to go the Western Illinois Leathernecks again. So we will pause for a second as the game loads, and then we'll be right back. All right, so this is the first look at the Western Illinois Leathernecks as the game presents it, a draft Sports 2023. This is your dashboard where you can kind of get an overview of your roster. Uh, Kendall, oh my God, Kendall Hutter, Derek Hudson. Thankfully, he's a senior because he is just awful. Um. John Perry at 6'8", 246, 
Romeoville, Illinois is our best player. Well, we have two really good centers. Uh, Andy Miles and John Perry. Uh, Brent Blunt is a pretty good point guard for us. Uh, his backup, Luke Kidd, is also pretty good. So we got some experience there. Um, Desmond DeCoster is not bad. So we got three pretty good point guards. Uh, don't actually see a single shooting guard on the roster. Um, oh, there we go. Sorry, R Russell Reynolds there. Two stars, and then Steve Stradmark. Uh, staff wise, we'll take a look here. Uh, Anthony Jeter is a two star defensive concept. Uh, Michael Lasseter, two star player development. Alan Mulahan is just one star everything, and Jermaine Hart is one star and everything. So we run a flex offense, spend much more time in practice on this because we have a lot of work to do. Our primary defense is man to man. The starters are okay with this, but the bench could use some help. Better keep up the practice type here. Primary pressure defense is full court man to man. Okay, so when we talk about the offense here, the game, this is just going to be a little bit of an overview. Uh, we'll go into strategy here. So this tells you exact, exactly how good you are at running a certain offense. So you can see nobody here is good at motion. Okay, the tens. Okay, flex, we're a little bit better at. All right, high post, we're okay. And then... You know, the Princeton, I, I, I don't want to run any of the Princeton. Right, so we'll go. Right, we're just going to have the flex at the high post. So we're going to run 75-25 on our, on our offensive practices. Right. Um. The flex offense requires all five players to be good ball handlers and passers. Would run currently correctly. Easy shots are freed up at the low and high post for all players, but the big men must be able to handle the ball and pass effectively. Which you can see, Perry is at 63. Right? You can see he's actually, again, um, five passing, two, I, two ball handling. Um, pretty good at rebounding, good at shot blocking, decent at stealing. Uh, good three and a half star setter. Uh, Hudson is considered a 70 in the flex offense, drawing fouls. Athleticism is a six. Everything else is pretty terrible. Um, Miles, uh, again, seven rebounder, six at shot blocking, six at athleticism, seven rebounding, five passing. So you, you know we have we have good there. We we have nobody in the power forward range who's really any good. Um, so it might be a situation where we actually start both of these and then just pray that some of these four can give us something off the bench. Uh, defensively, again, man to man, you can see it is by far our best defense, and then one three one zone is the best zone defense we have. Um, and then full court, man-to-man. -man, um, looks like it's gonna it's by far our best pressure defense. So you, the game does do, the mod does a good job of compiling the school's history. So they're 482 and 4, 688, 0.412 wood percentage. One conference championship, they have never made it to March Madness. They've made it to the NIT zero times, CBI zero times twice, and the College Basketball Classic once. Uh, one and a half star prestige for the Summit League, one star team prestige, 13 out of 100 to get D minus facilities, C minus academics, SAT scores 860. So you do have to have players who are going to qualify for you academically, uh, right, in the college game. That, that's a big, you know, that's a big part of the game. You can't just bring in anybody. You can see we start out with 150,000. Arena capacity is about 5,100. Assistant coaches are 64,000, so we have 86,000 remaining. So up here is kind of your board, your uh, tabs, right? You have your email. This is where you can talk to players, both on your roster and recruits. 
your alerts, your notepad, your key dates, your player search, player comparison, recruit, coaching assignments, right? So you can go in here and say, Anthony Jeter, the defensive scout, um, concepts. Actually, I'll say Hart is going to scout. Um, Mullahan will work on recruiting, and Jeter will run practice for us. Again, none of them are great, right? But we have saved our changes. And then hopefully our defense will get a lot better. Uh, so we'll go in here to our to our emails. Your athletic director will communicate to you. Well, let's make sure here. And we'll make sure we turn the sounds on. Uh, right, we're preliminary stages of putting together the schedule. Okay, and then we're going to have to work on budgeting and, and deal with the facilities. So we're expected to spend five grand to keep our D minus facilities. So amenities, money spent there will provide your players with the latest tech bells and whistles and shiny objects to entice recruits. So let's go. We're going to upgrade, update the amenities. We'll spend. Seven thousand on wellness. Go for staff and equipment to keep your players happy and healthy. And the training, we will go eight thousand. So we'll actually spend twenty grand on training, um, leaving us sixty-six thousand for recruiting. And training will keep players maintain or improve their athleticism. It'll help them improve their school on the court. So we've got our facilities paid for now. All right, and that noise you heard was the sound of an email. All right, we do not want to skip the summer. Uh, and the summer ska sk travel schedule, the various summer camps coming up are going to be the next thing. To look at, so these camps you could have, um, you may attend one national camp and as many regional camps as you want as long as you don't exceed your total budget. So they all cost money. Um, being Western Illinois, we will attend the July camp in Chicago. Uh, 100 of the top players of the Midwest region will be in Chicago. I mean, nobody's probably going to really want to do that. Uh, we'll go to Indy, July 4 through 6. So that's $6,000 there. And, yeah. That, that's what we're going to go with. We'll go to those two camps. Indianapolis and Illinois get very regional, very kind of localized recruiting. Especially, again, being a smaller college, I feel like that's fairly realistic. Okay, recruiting begins. Coach began this week. You can officially begin to recruit players for entry into your program next season. Recruiting will take place every week from now until the end of April. Remember to set your recruiting instructions every week as they will be cleared out each week except for your call list. Prior to the season starting, your tasks will be recruiting and eventually scheduling practices. Be sure you have set your recruiting instructions before you click the advanced button on the left side menu. The recruiting page has an option to see a recruiting calendar that will give you the dates of each recruiting period and their allowed action. Also, you should be visiting the team strategy page so you can decide the coaches you want to be in charge of recruiting and scouting. Finally, be aware that the bit of a PIS score into our school, for entry into our school's 860 scores are finalized on January 28th each year, so please make an effort to recruit players who will meet that score and only recruit players at the end of the season who have met that score. Again, we are going to the Indy Elite and the Chicago Prep, so we're going to go down to your strategy, which is what they said. Um, I don't really see where it talked about assigning coaches. Um, Mm, 65. And again, we want to use the flex. That is what we want to do. The higher the set usage percentage, the more structured your offense will be. Set a lower percentage if you want your players to have more freedom about offense to play closer to their preferential styles. And no. 
All right, and then so you can go into here to recruit. Okay, welcome to recruiting. Your message will only show the first season of the career, just help you get situated. There's the help button, blah, blah, blah. So this is pretty basic. So you have your full recruit list here. Uh, I'm actually only going to go down to interested recruits, right? Uh, and you do have high school players as well as junior college players you could recruit. So like Stanley Manheimer, 6'8", 243 from Minnesota. We're going to watch film. Um, he's a two-star recruit. I mean, NC State clubs at Northwest Pennsylvania, BYU, and Texas are supposedly all in on him. But we will add him because he says he has cool interest on us. And we he's from the PAC Charter High School. Um. We can say playing time because we are losing our starting setter. Um, I don't know, but I don't chat more. So he just kind of hug up on us. Right? Um, Todd Grizzard. Again, we're going to watch film, which costs $20. We're going to add him to the call list and the watch list. Loyola, Notre Dame, Southern Illinois, DePaul, Indiana, Marquette. We just have two scholarships available. Um, Travis Forte, again, another kind of center, because we, we want to make sure, again, that we are trying. This one's for Michigan, because we are, again, pretty weak there. Jamie Harris from Michigan. You've got Ricky Butler here from Illinois, 6.7 rebounds, 611, 269. I like the size. 2.8 GPA. Grizzard had a 3.2. Forte is a 2.8. Johnny Edwards from Illinois. Again, Loyola, Seller in Illinois, Butler, Dayton, Marquette. I mean, he might be realistic. Two star. Um, Mike Simpson, the junior college player, but we will add him to the list. The point guard. Uh, Mike Cage from Minnesota. Jamie Harris from Michigan, 6'10", 270. Again, we are, again, we're losing a, our starting setter. Wes Reyes, a small forward at junior college. We'll add him. We only have two more watch films. And all these things are costing money. Right? All, the, all these actions are costing money. Um, Mike Woodley will watch film the freshman point guard and then Clifford Chin or Mike Collins again I'm just trying to okay Jerome Kennedy there we go 3.2 GPA from Illinois so we're all done in terms of our watching our film, I think. Uh, the power forward, they're all kind of shortish. 2.2, um, I don't think he's going to qualify. Adam Brinson. Well, dude, I don't think Duke's going to be after you unless you like really develop. Uh, which, I mean, he could, right? He, he totally could. It's just, again, Joey Sanders, 3.9 GPA. Uh, we'll add him to the call list. But again, just 6'6", 219. So that's how recruiting basically works. We can go in here. You can go in here to recruits. And say, Stanley Manheimer, I want to try to call you. You have 95% time remaining. Um... Gonna pitch areas. What about school location? Playing close to is very important to me. This is a big factor in my decision. Uh, playing time. Playing time is not a big concern to me. And academics. So you can see how quote time everybody is going down each time. So he just hung up on me. Right. But now if I go back in here to Stanley, right, he is from. Minnesota, and you can see location is very important. So I'm going to try to host him. This is going to cost 
and he probably won't want to come, but you know what? It's it's important. So we're going to try to call Todd Grizzard as well. Um, he's got a 3.2 GPA, 6'4", 201 shooting guard from Illinois. Um, so we're going to go ahead. Where's Todd? There he is. Gonna start uh -oh. And Todd says, school location. Okay, so he doesn't want to talk. So we'll try one. We're going to do one more conversation, then we'll advance a week. Sorry. Um, Travis Forte. We will call. Again, we're down to 60% time remaining. Okay, he also doesn't want to talk. We'll go to Mike Simpson. We'll start the meeting. We're going to pitch areas. We're always going to start with location because these are all kind of, you know, Illinois and upper Midwest kids. Playing home is very important. What does he think about academics? Not a big concern. Conference prestige. Okay, so he's done talking. Uh, we're down to 30%. We'll go to Jamie Harris now. Apparently, oh, there we go. Different face. Uh, academics. Okay, he doesn't want to talk. Rest Weyes will try to talk down to 20%. And you can talk about your parents. I live with both of my parents, so they're pretty people. Pretty nice people. They might be pretty, too. Uh, neither of them attended your school. We really don't have much money at all, so if I were not for basketball, I probably wouldn't be able to go to college. Your interests, you guys aren't in the mix. I don't know if that will change or not over time. Wow, that kind of hurts. Um, we'll go to school location. Playing home is going to factor my decision, but it's only one of the things I'm considering. All right, so you can see we're down to 4.5% code tie remaining. So we kind of got that done. That's a rough estimate of um, recruits. You can go in here and you can see here these are the call it watch lists. Um, and we will go ahead and we'll advance a week. Got a couple new emails. And pretty soon we're going to okay, get Stanley Manhammer. I appreciate the time your staff gave me on my visit. I got some more schools to check out before I make my decision, though. Time for the summer camps to begin. And it kicks off with those three national camps. So, again, we can go back in here to recruiting players. I think we still have now. So, we go in here to Stanley Manheimer. We can, we're going to scout him live for 650. We can't visit him yet. We are going to watch film again. Um, Todd Grizzard, we will also scout live. We'll watch film. And do we have anything about on Todd? Okay, so he is warm on Southern Illinois and he's already visited them. So that's a little bit of a, a a little bit of a problematic development. We're going to try to go in here and try to talk to Todd and see if he would. Okay, so Todd is is not very interested in us. So we're going to try to actually talk to Johnny Edwards then. 65206 from Illinois. Uh, sorry. Recruit. Edwards. <laughs> playing close to home is very important to me. It's a big factor of my decision. What about playing time? It's got to factor in um, academic. He doesn't have anything to say about that. What about your parents? Okay, so he didn't say anything really. Go to Mike Simpson, then I guess. School location. Okay, so I won't bore you all, bore you all with all of that. But what we are going to do is we're going to go down here to Johnny Edwards and say we're going to scout him live, live for $75. We'll watch film. And we're going to host the recruit. Although he is very hot at Loyola of Chicago. So that most shooting guard, of our top shooting guards. Do not look like they're going to come to us, which is a which is a problem. 
Uh, well, we have three more emails, and then after this, we will probably wrap it up. Okay, they're just about the Las Vegas camps. Um, so if you go in here, right, we'll go in here to key dates real quick. We're on July 7th right now. Um, so the evaluation, we can call the recruit, contact the recruit, watch game film, host the recruit for campus visit, and watch them live. So this is, uh, the evaluation period is actually huge. So we're actually, uh, so I kind of misspoke. We're actually going to do this now because we want to go in here to our recruited players. Um, Stanley Mannheimer. Um, right now, nobody is. Wait, why can't we do this? So apparently, we can't do this just yet because it's not letting us. Um, rebounding is just a C minus shot. Blocking is a C minus. He has really good athleticism, though. Bad at passing. That, that 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 that's a problem with the flex offense, but we will offer him a scholarship, and then yeah, Johnny Edwards. We can't do anything good at passing, scoring, outside shooting, athleticism, ball handling. I like that. So Loyola, we are going to go ahead and offer him Todd Grizzard. A little bit better outside shooting, also pretty good athletically. Um, decent passer as well. I wish I had three scholarships, to be honest. So we're going to go ahead and advance to July 9th. Uh, Las Vegas recap. I feel like we should be able to. Yeah, we should be able to do this, right? Because we're on July 9th. If you look at the key dates, the evaluation, we can host them for... Okay, so we can't actually contact them until the July 25th, so I misspoke. So we're going to pause, we'll get to July 25th, and then that's where we're really going to try to go... Um, or September 11th, sorry. Um, that's where we're really going to try to get to, to sign some of these guys. So we're going to pause and then we'll be back, see if we can get some people to come on to campus for a visit or go and go home as well. So just one moment, everyone. So we are back now here on our contact period where Stanley Mannheimer did go to, um, Southern Illinois. Mike Simpson has signed with Bradley and... Jerome Kennedy has signed with Bradley. Um, so Johnny Edwards, right? We can, you know, he is hot on Loyola, hot on Davidson. Uh, warm on Southern Illinois. We're not in the running at all. You can see location is very important, which we have. Um, we cannot host the recruit, but we can visit the recruit. We can watch film, and we will visit the recruit, and we are going to talk to him about the great campus, and that there will be interest for being stick, staying close to home. Because, again, that is our strongest thing. Pyramid's alma mater, not applicable in Illinois State. So we are going on Johnny Edwards here. Um, Stanley Mannheimer signed elsewhere. Travis Forte is hot on Loyola. And Paul, again, just we will offer him a scholarship. He will visit, decline the visit. Um... B plus rebounder, you know, he's we're probably not gonna get him, but he is the player that we would want if we could get him to at least have some interest in us. Can we get again location? So he, he just did not want to answer us about location. Um he's probably gonna sign somewhere else, but Again, we are going to visit him for $700. We will pitch, again, the great location. You can see he's warm on just West. I almost thought that was us for a second, but Western Michigan, Eastern Michigan is also cool. Probably not going to get him either. Um, but we're, we're doing everything we can. 
Um, Todd Grizzard. Not, you know, Loyola has offered him. Um, Let's Reyes. He's been offered by Loyola and Oakland. You know, again, we're just we're not in the running with any of these players really. Mike Woodley, A plus shooting, B plus passing, A minus ball handling. I like that. Right. Um. The Paul he's warm on. We're gonna try to call who is that? A Mike Woodley, one star uh, point guard. Because we're gonna try to see if we can't maybe. Okay, so don't bother contacting me again. Yeah. So why why does he even consider me cool then? Like why does he even consider that he has cool interest in me? If he's just gonna say don't bother contacting me. So Todd Grizzard, we're gonna host the recruit. He will accept that. Uh, Location, playing post home is very important to me. Uh, education, academics is only one other thing. And what about um, playing time? Okay, so he's got to go. So thankfully, with Todd Grizzard, we were able to find out that the location doesn't matter to him. So again, we're going to go after location for him. And we get Travis. I'm all about playing close to home, right? Which is what we are all about as well. So we've got Travis. Um, Mike Simpson is already signed. Ricky Butler apparently has some interest in me, but I just, I don't know. Jerome Kennedy already signed. Mike Woodley has zero interest in coming in. Wes Reyes has been offered by Loyola and Oakland. Um, I don't think that's going to happen. So we're going to advance, right? I just our, our initial recruiting class is not going to be very good, I don't believe. Um, but and then after this, we will kind of end because now that we've seen. Okay, so Wes Reyes likes me, which is weird because is one of the players we didn't even really offer or anything, but he likes me. Um, had Grizzard did sign. Sorry. Todd Grizzard did sign with Loyola. Johnny Edward came in, apparently did not change his opinion of me at all. Um, so Travis Forte says, you said some things in your visit that really at home and gave me something to think about. Who knows? Maybe I'll end up going with you, but you're definitely in the running. Johnny Edwards, it was cool of you to come and meet me and my family. I'll be in touch. Todd Grizzard, I enjoyed my visit. Your staff and players showed me a good time, and you have a nice program going there, too. Talk to you soon. So our schedule's been created. We're, we're still not in... Okay, we're all the way down here at the bottom. We're the only place that offered him, and we're all the way at the bottom. I, I, again, he declines... We'll visit him again and again. Talk to him about location. That's what we know he likes. Um, education. He can't chat anymore. Okay. Uh, at Grizzard or Johnny Edwards, supposedly. Okay, we're cool. Right? We we know location is what he likes. So we're again, we're gonna we're gonna hit that. And again, try to go in there. So we're gonna go to scheduling. We'll take a look at our schedule here real quick. So you can change your non-conference schedule. And obviously your conference schedule is more locked. So on the road at St. John's. I don't want to start on the road at St. John's. Right? That, 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 that's a butt-kicking waiting to happen. We'll go to DePaul. We will start at DePaul. That's a game in Illinois. Um, it's not a rivalry game, but, you know, it, it's a game in Illinois. We'll take on the Milwaukee Panthers instead of Wagner. At Oklahoma, why would we, why would we want to do that? Um, I mean, we can go. 
There's not a lot of great options here. Ah, uh, trying to stay as close to Illinois as possible. Um, you know what? All right, we we we'll, we'll go at Marquette. That'll be our game there. Um. We'll take an East Tennessee State instead of Kennesaw State. At Hartford, we can change that to at Okay, SIU, there we go. Bradley at Mississippi State. Okay, if we want another beating, we'll change that to at Butler. At Washington, why? Why are we going all the way out to Washington? Right? We'll go to at Northwestern. And then December 27th, we will end with uh, um, Drexel, Northern Pennsylvania, although it's a home game, so really does that part doesn't really matter. We'll go Arkansas Pine Bluff, right? Try to get a win. Our half star reputation school. Um, and we'll see what these EMRs are, and then we will end the episode. Uh, Wes Reyes signed with Eastern Illinois. So yeah, and, and again, just Forte and Edwards. Oh, Edwards has no interest in me now. So yeah, recruiting is not going great. Um. But you know, that's part of the struggle of the game, especially low reputation, rookie coach, smaller school. It makes sense. So we might have to get some more people added to our contact list, um, make some more phone calls, try to... We only have the two scholarships, so it's not like we have a ton of scholarships either. But uh, I mean, I wish Forte would kindly move from cool because we've had him on two, uh, two visits, both hitting the most important thing to him. And he's just not changing from cool and, and and that's a concern right that's a concern when we're not showing any kind of growth uh, education he doesn't know conference prestige not much to say our facilities are terrible playing time not much to say about that okay so yeah, you know, we'll we'll try one more time. We'll host him. We'll watch film. No, we don't want to text him anymore. We'll visit the recruit. And again, visit the recruit. Because we know we have the location piece. But he's just not... He's not showing any interest in us. And, yeah, we'll have to figure out how to get some more players in. Because, obviously, these players, Mike Woodley... Um, we'll visit the recruit and we'll talk to him about location too. Um, if he were not even on his list. So we'll actually go into October here and then we'll, we'll end, we'll end the episode there. And then in our next episode will be in the season and we will actually type, wait, wait, where did Okay, Trent. Oh, God, he signed with Oakland. Yeah, we can't sign anybody. We we just cannot sign anybody. Um, Southern Illinois, Oakland. Yes. Uh, so we're going to have to completely go back to the drawing board. We lost out on all of our top recruiting prospects. Unsurprisingly, right? Unsurprisingly. So what is 
our goal this year? Um, what's a dash? What what is our goal? Or is it in our office? Yeah, it should be in our office. Don't finish last and win ten games. Oh, boy. I mean, I mean, it, it, we we have a good interior. Um, I, I I don't know. We'll have to see. But thank you to anybody and everybody for watching again. Draft Day Sports, College Basketball 23. It is the real world mod. And our sec March Madness is coming up, so this one's going to be coming out quite a bit. Um, I do love college basketball. And I hope you enjoyed the episode. And in our next episode, we'll actually get into some games and see if we can achieve either one of these. Um, and maybe find somebody somewhere who wants to come to Western Illinois. Thank you all for watching.